Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's video, I am going to share with you my full in-depth review of this uh, Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. Now, if you have been following me for a while, you must know that I love the ambient lighting powders from Hourglass. They just give you that beautiful, soft, focused, perfected, filtered look and I love it. And this foundation is actually inspired by those ambient lighting powders from Hourglass and when I... Uh, saw that they are coming up with a new foundation i got so excited and i just decided to get the foundation by the way this is not a first impression i have been testing out this foundation for over one week at this point and i am totally ready to give you my full review so yeah before starting if you are new to the channel then hi i am nita i upload makeup skincare and beauty related videos here on my channel if those things interest you then please consider subscribing it will mean a lot to me and if you are already a subscriber then thank you so much from the bottom of my heart so yeah without further ado let's get started so first let's just talk about the packaging shades pricing and all and then i will share with you my final review so it comes in a cardboard packaging like this this kind of copperish brown shiny kind of packaging so if you have uh, purchased any hourglass product you know that this is the standard packaging and when you open it up here is the actual bottle it is a frosted bottle like this and look at the cap it's like the color of it it's so luxurious and heavy. So if I am paying $58 I want the packaging to be really luxurious and this packaging is like 10 on 10 it's a heavy like glass packaging and it's very luxurious i love the packaging this foundation retails for 58 dollars and it comes in a total of 32 shades which is pretty impressive for hourglass because they are not known for their good shade range so i was pretty impressed to see that they are coming up with so many different shades and the shade range is divided into various categories like fair, medium, light medium, deep, dark and so on and so on. And the undertone is uh, described as warm, cool and neutral. Now I got the shade 10.5 neutral. You must be curious that I am a pretty yellow toned uh, person. Like I have a pretty strong yellow undertone. Then why I got the shade neutral now this is an online exclusive foundation which i do not really like because i want to go to the stores watch some shades for me in case i am paying 58 dollars i do not want to like exchange or return the product it's it's a, like a total waste of money as well as the product so i do not want to do that but it is what it is so i saw a couple of swatches a couple of reviews and i figured that the warm tone foundations are way too warm they are more like yellowish now i have warm undertone but i am not like turmeric yellow if that makes sense and the neutral tone foundations are pretty warm so i was really confused between the shade 10 warm and 10.5 neutral and i just decided to go with the shade 10.5 neutral and i must say it is a pretty good match for me and actually it is a pretty warm toned shade so in case you are a shade sister then definitely grab the shade 10.5 neutral and it is a pretty warm tone foundation for the reference i am originally nc35 in max studio fix foundation but i'm a little bit tender right now so i am nc40 ish and i will mention some other shades of my foundations in the description box down below and yeah that is that now let's just go ahead and check the application process and then i will share with you my final review so you can see it is not very liquidy it's kind of thick moussey consistency and very soft kind of a consistency and yeah it's really soft and moussey so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a like my brush and i'm going to blend it out first and then i will take my sponge and i'm going to perfect it further so i'm using my real techniques sponge and you can see it is a neutral foundation but it is pretty warm and yeah that's what i was talking about by the way i have already primed my face using my essence hello good stuff glow serum primer it is supposed to be a due for the glow recipe one i haven't tried the glow recipe one so i cannot comment on that but i have been loving that primer so much lately and yeah so this is like just one layer and you can see i have not even used the entire pump i have used just one pump 
and it's looking pretty nice. I just zoomed you in just to show you how uh, the foundation looks. This is just one layer of the foundation and I have used one full pump uh, to cover my entire face as well as my neck. And this is how everything is looking so far and you can see I have a uh, like acne scars over here and it has covered that acne scar pretty well like you can see that dark mark over here so this is how everything is looking and you can see it's looking very very smooth and when i first apply the foundation it gives me kind of a uh, like a little bit of dewy finish not too 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 much but a little bit of dewy finish and after uh, like 10 minutes or so it settles down and it gives me a straight up natural finish so yeah here is how the foundation is looking with just one layer and with just one pump and i do agree with the claim that it is a pretty like medium coverage foundation So, so yeah this is how everything is looking so far and i really like the finish and you can see the glow is kind of um gone it's been like five minutes or so since i applied the foundation and it's looking very natural on the skin like do you see and the shade is pretty spot on for me so yeah i'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then i'll share with you my final thought now let's just talk about the claim and everything and i'm currently on their website and it uh, claims to be a weightless liquid foundation that delivers 16 hour medium buildable coverage with a natural soft glow finish and it is inspired by their ambient lighting collection and this foundation um, claims to minimize the look of imperfections for skin that looks smooth even and glowing in any light and it's a blendable foundation and it also claims to be a 16 hour long wear foundation we will see that and you are getting actually 30 ml of product which is pretty standard for foundations so those were the claims so i am back with my full face of makeup and i did uh, do a little bit of cream contour and it did not really lift up the product underneath it is actually good because sometimes like some foundations just do not work well with all your primers all your cream products powders and so on so on but this foundation works really well with almost all my primers and with almost all my cream products which i actually love now this foundation claims to be a light to medium buildable coverage and on me personally on my minor imperfections it just gives me a straight up medium coverage and i can definitely build it up it does not become cakey or heavy at all this foundation claims to be a lightweight like feather like lightweight foundation which is again true it is very lightweight it does not feel heavy or cakey at all like i am wearing this foundation today and i cannot really feel that i'm wearing a foundation it is very very lightweight and i do agree uh, to that claim as well now it claims to be a 16 hour wear foundation which is um, not really true in my opinion on my skin personally it lasts up to eight hours and after eight hours it starts to separate um, on my mouth area as well as on my nose area it stays put up to eight hours and then you do need to do a little bit of touch up and after like 10 hours or so this foundation starts to separate so it on me personally it does not really last for 16 hours so for me personally that claim is um, not true and other than that it looks really natural yes it does not emphasize any texture and i just need one full pump to cover up my entire face and neck now i no longer uh, like use a lot of foundation i just like to use a very thin layer of foundation to give me a really nice like skin like finish and this foundation gives me that so i really really like it now i have really dry skin and it it just provides a very natural finish and it remains a little bit of tacky so it is not transfer proof at all so it is a very nice like hydrating kind of a foundation but it is not 
over the top hydrating like my wet and wild dewy foundation now when i wear this foundation for like up to eight hours i do notice that my t-zone tends to become a little shiny i have really dry skin and it is really like uh, windy and cold here but my t-zone tends to become a little shiny so in case you have oily skin you need to powder it um, and you need to use a good mattifying setting spray i do always powder uh, my foundation and i do always set it with a makeup setting spray and i did set uh, this foundation with my powder today as well and you can see it's looking really really smooth and i love that this foundation is very very smooth looking foundation and it's it's like butter on the skin i'm not even exaggerating and this foundation just do not sit on top of my skin it just blends right in and it just looks like my own skin but better and i am really happy with the shade because the shade is just perfection for me and uh, when i look closely on my mirror it just looks so smooth and i have some breakouts here and it does not really emphasize any texture it does not cling on to those breakouts and i have dry patches around my mouth area and it does not really emphasize or cling on to those dry patches as well so it is a pretty nice foundation and it does not settle on my fine lines as well because you know with some hydrating glowy foundations they always tend to settle on my uh, smile lines but this foundation does not do that so I give this foundation a solid like 4.5 out of 5 just because it is a pretty expensive foundation and it is like an online exclusive foundation that is not really fair and the shade range is uh, pretty tricky to choose uh, because the models and the swatches that they uploaded they were not helpful at all I wanted some like real deal swatches not like professionally done swatches I wanted really like real deal real life swatches the models that they have used in my opinion it's not helpful at all so i had a hard time picking up my shade and that's why i give it like 4.5 other than that i would definitely give it like 5 out of 5 so yeah that is that that was my review of the brand new uh, ambient light foundation from hourglass please let me know if you are planning to grab this foundation or not or if you have tried this foundation what do you guys think please let me know in the comment section down below and i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i hope this video was helpful for you if you did then please hit the like button and please do subscribe to my channel and if you are not following me on facebook instagram and twitter then please do follow me there all the links will be given in the description box down below so make sure to check them out so yes yeah, see you soon in my next video till then bye and take care Bye.